Welcome to Fantasy Grounds. You've just created a new campaign that your players can join, but it's pretty empty. Let's fix that. The two main things that you'll need from any virtual tabletop is a way to roll dice and a way to make and share maps with your players. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your dice. Dice can be selected and rolled from the dice hotbar. You can hover over the top left of the hotbar to unlock it and move it around. You can right click dice to roll multiple. Or select a special custom dice to roll. To access your dice settings, you'll need to go to the Dice Manager. First, locate the tool folder in the top right of Fantasy Grounds. Then, click on the icon that has the tooltip labeled Dice. Welcome to your Dice Manager. From here, you can change the color of your dice, Select the dice that you want in your toolbar, and finally, access any of the dice skins that you own. Whenever you pick up a dice to roll, you'll need to make sure that you roll it inside of the chat box for the result to be recorded. If you roll it outside, the result will not display in the chat. If you would like to add a modifier to your dice roll, you can left-click the modifier box and enter a number. Or hover over the modifier box and use the scroll wheel on your mouse. Depending on what rule set you're using, you might also have modifier buttons that you can press. To create a custom modifier, go to the tool folder at the top right of Fantasy Grounds. Then, click on the button that has the modifiers tooltip. To add a custom modifier, click the add item. Then, Write the name of the modifier and choose the value. You can also choose whether you want this custom modifier available to just you or you and your players. Then click on the button. You can drag this button onto your hotbar for easy access. Next, let's take a look at how to roll dice for NPCs and monsters. If you don't have any modules loaded in, you won't see anything in your NPC folder. So let's go ahead and load in some 5e data. To load a module, you'll need to go to the library folder on the top right, and then click on modules. Select Activation in the bottom left. Now, load the module that contains the NPCs that you would like to use. Now that you have the module loaded, you can see all of the monsters from that module that have been added. Let's go ahead and take a look at a stat block. Click on the link icon that's to the left of the stat block name. Fantasy Grounds will highlight any text that it thinks is a role in blue. This can be a saving throw, a weapon attack, or damage. To roll, simply left click, hold, 
and drag. Alternatively, you can double click the highlighted text. Here are some other fun tips that you can use for dice. In order to select multiple, when you drag a dice, you can right click to add dice. Additionally, you don't have to use the digital dice at all if you don't want to. If you'd rather just text, then you can type the dice in the chat that you want to roll by using the roll command. If you'd like to further customize your dice, you can go back to the dice manager and then go into Custom Dice Rolls. Clicking on the Custom Dice Rolls, a new window will open. Here, you can assign any dice you want to a damage type. To add your own custom dice, you'll need to first uncheck the default skin option. Then, you'll need to select the dice color that you want. Once you have it selected, you can drag it into the slot Save it by closing the custom dice rolls window. Now, whenever you roll poison damage, it should use that dice skin. Even if you change the color of your own dice, the poison damage will remain the same. That's it. Congratulations, you are now a Dice Master with Fantasy Grounds. Next video, we'll take a look at creating some maps to put these monsters on.